Lewis is an orphan. Lewis never knew who his parents were, and growing up he's felt extremely insecure. He's an extremely brilliant kid. He's smart, he knows how to work, he's disciplined, but he has a lot of insecurities, and this prevents him from holding good eye contact. Lewis cannot look someone in the eye when they talk to him because it reminds him of his parents. Now, Lewis wants to become an inventor. He wants to do great things in the world, but that's not gonna happen if he doesn't learn how to hold eye contact. One day, Lewis decides that he's had enough of this. He's had enough of being that amazingly smart kid, being able to do very good work, but not being able to show it to people. So he commits himself to be able to hold brilliant eye contact. And he's not very good at it at first. He sucks, but he starts practicing. When he sees someone walking down the street who's looking at him, he looks back and sometimes he looks away, but he practices his eye contact. When someone's telling him something, when his teacher is teaching him something, he looks them directly in the eye and pays attention. Five years down the line, Lewis is successful. He's an entrepreneur, he's an inventor, he's created amazing things that have changed the world. And when Lewis begins to speak to someone new, what do you think he does? He looks them directly in the eye and pays attention. And when he's telling them something, he looks them directly in the eye. When I was going through middle school and the majority of high school, I was absolutely terrible at eye contact. I was pretty insecure to begin with. When I was in a conversation with someone, I'd often be looking away or just like not actually focused on what they're saying. I remember when I went to this coffee shop with this girl and I was really excited for this date, but I was extremely nervous. You know, you know that feeling if you've been there. The first day, you're always extremely nervous. And I remember while we were waiting in line to get whatever drinks we had or we kind of locked eye contact for a good second and we weren't even saying anything we just locked eye contact and then she smiled at me and <laughs> I <clears throat> this one still hurts when I think about it even though I held decent eye contact for a few seconds I looked away immediately because I got I started to feel nervous and I regret that so much because it's such a beautiful moment you have and nothing bad is happening but your own insecurities get to you and you end up ruining that because you just you feel like you need to look away you just feel the need to look away because you're just not comfortable enough with yourself to actually hold that eye contact it's through having those experiences like the one that i just told you where you actually get better and you learn how to actually do this so the only real reason that we can't hold good eye contact is our own insecurity and it's our own confidence sometimes it's because lack of focus but the majority of the time is we get scared of someone else's gaze we get we get uncomfortable with when we're looking at someone and then because we're not comfortable and secure with ourselves we look away because we feel like that's our obligation we feel inferior to other people and we think we need to look away first but if you want to become more confident and actually start cultivating some decent relationships and making really good friends then you need to be able to hold eye contact you need to look someone in the eye when you're talking to you for the rest of this video i want you to practice Stop looking over at the comments or stop looking over at the other videos that are popping up on this thumbnail. I want you to literally just look right in my eyes. I'll look in your eyes. You just need to focus on me for a little bit. Practice being present. Practice being okay with looking someone in the eye. If you want to get good at holding decent eye contact, there's literally only one thing you can do and that's practice. So in this video, I want you to just look directly into my eyes, literally just stare directly at my eyes and actually practice being present for a little bit. And I think I've seen some videos online where they're like, practice your eye contact here, whatever. But I think the best way to actually go do this is to start practicing with real people. When you're in class or when you're at work and someone's talking to you, look them directly in, the, directly in their eyes and actually focus on what they're saying. The biggest indicator of when someone's paying attention to you is when they're looking in your eyes. And it's an extremely powerful thing. And when you make eye contact with someone walking down the street, you see they notice you. It may be beneficial for you to take some time and journal out some past experiences where you feel like you've looked away or broken eye contact with someone that you really should have held it with. And I know a lot of, for a lot of guys, especially like me who were insecure growing up is, it's with girls. I've always been a pretty observant person, like watching other people and kind of noticing what they're doing. It's just the way I am. And you see a lot of times that, especially like take the gym or school, for example, you'll see guys who are looking over at a girl maybe and they're kind of like, just like staring at them. And if that girl ever looks over and makes eye contact with them, they look away and pretend like they're doing something else. And I'm not, I'm, I've been there too, we've all been there. You always think you're getting away with it, but you're really not and they always notice you. We have to get out of this phase where you're making eye contact with someone and looking away. And it may be beneficial for you to journal some experiences where you've broken eye contact. 
eye contact with someone or you feel like where your lack of eye contact might come from. It's not easy to fix this. You have to be mindful of it and you have to be thinking about it quite a lot because it's so easy to get into our old tendencies of just breaking eye contact extremely quickly. But it does a lot for your confidence when you're able to look someone in the eye and pay attention to them. And it's pretty much the key. It's, it's your foundation to being able to have genuine conversation and being able to experience amazing relationships build beautiful friendships and just experience a good life you have to be able to look someone in the eye to do this and i know it's hard but you need to practice and you have to be present when you're doing this so get through the pain practice it and you will see benefit from it and your life will just be a lot better because you can actually pay attention to someone when they're speaking to you and you're going to make a lot more friends